Reassembly. Reassemble the seal assembly. Install the seal insert. Due to the seal size of the pump shown, place the new retainer in the seal recess of the faceplate. Set the thin seat gasket in the recess and set the seat insert on top of the gasket. A ceramic insert has a top side and a bottom side. The bottom side is identifiable by its slightly recessed grooves. Make sure the grooves face down toward the rubber gasket. Lubricate the rubber seal collar with soapy water. The rotating seal assembly includes these parts. Seal ring, bellows, and seal housing. Push the entire rotating seal assembly onto the shaft as one unit. Do not attempt to assemble the seal by placing the components on the shaft individually. Align the notches in the collar with the recesses found on each side of the carbon ring. Press the seal housing tightly against the upper end of the rubber collar. Use a screwdriver and press at several points along the periphery in order to provide a tight and even fit. Do not tap on the seal because you can break the ceramic or carbon insert. Place the seal spring on the shaft and then the spring retainer. You do not need to do this for the 1.25 inch or 3.16 centimeter seal. Place the impeller and lock washer on the shaft. Thread the impeller nut onto the shaft and tighten according to the values in the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. Do not over tighten. Completely remove the old volute fiber gasket. Clean the pump body of excess debris. Install a new volute fiber gasket on the motor bracket. Replace the motor assembly by inserting the impeller into the pump body and evenly tighten the eight cap screws. For cap screw torque values, please consult with the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. If installed, close drain valve and reinstall and tighten all drain plugs removed from the volute. Reopen the isolation valves on the suction and discharge sides of the pump. Loosen the highest level drain plug to purge air from the pump. Retighten the plug when fluid begins to leak out, then check the pump for possible leaks and correct if necessary. Reconnect the motor wiring and reinstall the conduit box cover. Reinstall the motor cover and spacers. Reconnect the electric supply and operate the pump, once again checking for possible leaks and correct them if necessary.